getting put on my back. If you guessed it right, then you know that is what we call double bump. And we know that double bump is one of the easiest loads to turn over if it's not loaded the right way. You hear me? So What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Big E with Life with Big E. Y'all and y'all back with another video. Listen to him, man. If you haven't already, do your boy a favor real quick. Like, share, subscribe to the channel, man. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a video. Listen here. Today is Monday, y'all. And I've been trying my best to drop videos every two to three days for y'all. Um, and I know some of y'all don't fool with the, the little H10 truck content. Some of y'all are here just for the logging. And I understand that, but I'm just doing what I can to keep the videos coming. To stay relevant. You know what I mean? And so y'all gonna be getting some fishing videos here at the wild. Um, I got a cruise in that I'm going to this Saturday. We're gonna meet up with my buddy T. Wayne down in Georgetown. We're gonna see some cool trucks, cars, and stuff like that. Um, like I tell y'all, man, uh, I'm a man that I have an interest in a lot of different things. And so, hey, you'll be getting a lot of different videos. But with that being said, y'all, we are here trying to get loaded this morning. We got one, two trucks ahead of us. You got the Peterbilt, Cornell, and you got Robert Child truck, um, which is fire that's driving it. And so um, Brian didn't show up to about, live right at, right at seven, so I'm up in there. So we just trying to get our day started, you know, get in the, move, the uh, groove of just working and getting started. I know y'all see that flash light blinking over there from um, soldiers, uh, caution lights. But yeah, we finna get heavy here, and we're gonna try to sneak on across there, get us two, two, three loads a day. Um, I end up, last week I had 11 loads, 11 loads, so it did get a little bit better. And so um, it ain't nothing like my 15 to 17, 20 load. So we trying to get back in that groove, but we on such of a long haul that it's kinda hard. So right now we just taking what we can get, and that's with being in anything, anything in life. You know, um, sometimes you got to be able to deal with what life throws at you and, you know, how you react to what life throws at you. Uh, it, it, it tells a lot about your character. But um, like I said, man, um, I'm excited about what God got going for me in my new chapter. Um, I've been kind of discouraged with the KW bill and been trying to focus on other things to get my mind off of it, y'all. But right now, we just doing what we can with why, why we can. And I've been talking to some buddy about, about box trucks. I don't know what to do. I really don't. Um, right now, I'm just taking it step by step, day by day, and just trying to um, climb and maintain however God may let me. You know, you can't do nothing without him anyway. And so, uh, But I do believe that if he brought me to KW, we're going to keep it. We're going to be able to build it. You know what I'm saying? And so... Um, like I, I've been trying to do my part with dropping the videos, uh, saving money and doing stuff like that. So I'm doing my part. Um, and I know he gonna always give me the increase cause he always does. It just may not be when you want it, but it's all, he's always on time. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate everyone that's been rocking with me. Everyone that really tuned into the channel to support me. Um, uh, man, I pray nothing but blessings back upon y'all. I pray he health and healing over you guys family i pray that everything that your hands touches it prosper and i pray for your marriages i pray for your children i pray for your finances i pray for your healing i pray that god continue to show up and show out in your life to always remind you who he is and why you should always praise him in spite of any situation you may be in hey y'all it's your boy Big E, man i'm gonna get y'all some video i mean some content and we're going to be back.
y'all that detroit said he finna be hunting you hear me that big detroit right there man that big detroit and that black freight liner with that six series in it that 12 cell said he looking for any caterpillar to get out of his way that's why that that's why that cat behind him right there can't keep keep can't keep up with that 14 liter you hear me look at that big look at that big detroit coming out of there look at that big y'all hear that big joke number power right there man Number power right there. Clear that he gonna drive that thing, man. Look at that weak cat. <laughs> Look at caterpillar right there, y'all. A little weak caterpillar. Look at him. I heard getting it done in Monday morning. Trying to get a dog, man. They just the weak. Y'all see 15 in there? Ain't nothing like that big in a nasty man. <laughs> you hear me? Hey, y'all know what we out here doing, man. We lawyer, man.
YouTube. We about to, we're here in the bullpen. Bullpen. A lot of trucks in here, so it's gonna be a long, slow day. And uh, you know it is what it is, man. I'm trying to find my buying spot. But yo, yeah, we here in the bullpen. I'm gonna get these scraps off, and I'm gonna get back with y'all. Peace. Y'all, we back from Waynesboro. Now we loaded with the uh, long. Loaded tip is all to go to Silver Creek. Get it done for the day. It's probably gonna be the last one. I may load up in the morning. Um, kind of just slow day. Spend, spend a few hours over there at the bullpen, but that's pretty much typical for a Wayne bro, load when they, you know, running wide open and everybody ain't no quota. So, we out here just gonna try to get it done for the day. I don't want to bore y'all, man. Just trying to keep dropping footage. Hope y'all like it. Hope y'all enjoying it, man. I'm just showing y'all what we down here doing, man. Y'all see it? Yeah. Anyway, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop videos, man. We trying to put at least four videos out this week. I'm dropping this video hopefully tonight. Drop one Wednesday. Well, I'm gonna have to drop one Tuesday, Wednesday, and some maybe Friday. I don't know. But I hope y'all enjoy it, man. Just trying to get y'all some content for the people that love these logging videos. Hey, this is what we doing, man. Go ahead and say it with your boy, man. Y'all know what we doing. We logging, man. And look, man, if y'all really want to support your boy, man, get y'all a We Logging Man t-shirts. This is him. The shirts are $33, man. That's with shipping included. You hear me? It costs $10 to ship the shirts. So I have to charge the shipping because if I don't, I'm not already not making no profit because I have to buy the buy the logo and buy the shirt the shirt by itself is ten dollars the logo is like four dollars a logo plus shipping too so you know 33 dollars for a shirt man y'all get y'all one um we got this one and we got any color you want it in we got this the we log it man and we got the dodging dot to ship the gear um with every shirt you buy man it goes into my little savings that i got put aside for my kw and it makes me one step closer to getting my truck going um and if you don't want to support me in buying a shirt, uh, keep watching the videos and watching the ads. Let them play fully so I get paid off the videos that I drop, you know what I'm saying? The, the ads and everything like that. Uh, that's all I ask for you guys, you know. Um, and hopefully, you know, one day we'll grow to where we have all types of stuff going on out here, man. And start my own logging crew. That, that sounds pretty much good. But anyway, y'all, I appreciate all y'all, man. Much love and support. We signing out for the day, man, and we gonna try it again in my. I'm telling, I'm trying to drop one at least every day for y'all. That's my goal. Is to try to drop a video every day, even if it's a quick video. I'm just doing that to show y'all, man. Hey, I appreciate y'all, and you know, um, I need, I gotta keep putting content out to uh, keep the channel growing too. And so, uh, hey, y'all go back watch a couple, couple old videos. Like I said, I got over 500 videos on the channel. You can even go back to watch when I first started driving the uh, Freightliner. Uh, I think it's on this channel, or maybe on my family channel that we don't upload, haven't uploaded in two years. But uh, you will see, when before I even was driving for Brian, even driving for myself, when I was driving for a guy named Roger in Ellisville. Man, I'm telling you, I've been doing this for a minute, y'all. But uh, hey, y'all keep rocking with your boy. We sign it out, man. Hey, say it with me, man. We long in, man. All right, y'all. We get ready to hear that. To Silver Creek, Mississippi. Drop that load of chips off. We'll come back and load up for a load of logs in the morning. Oh yeah. Got that big automatic, man. I be shifting it sometimes to make it feel like I'm still driving the stick shift. It's all right though. You gonna get back with it. <laughs> I'm gonna get back with y'all, man. Peace. Alright y'all, we get ready to head out to Silver Creek, man. Drop this load off. I got y'all on the GoPro.
through that Super Creek and the safety shack, uh, getting unloaded. Uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around to show y'all. Uh, I don't, you don't see it a million times, but hey, we're gonna go back and get another load for in the morning so we get a head start on the morning, man, and we're gonna do what we can. Let me turn it. Alright, you see he's picking it up. They had a little bit too much, so he's gonna go back and pick up a little bit more. And then, uh, he's gonna try it again, a little lighter than what it was. He's gonna get it off in two bites, and we're gonna be done with y'all. The life of a logger, man. Hey, let's talk logging real quick. Logging one on one. Can you tell me what that kind of load that is right there that's getting put on my back? If you guessed it right, then you know that is what we call double bump. And we know that double bump is one of the easiest loads to turn over if it's not loaded the right way. You hear me? So for all you new drivers out there, you know what I'm saying? What we normally would do, depend on what kind of turns you got to make, and depend on what kind of good loader man you got. He gonna load that thing the right way. You know what I'm saying? He gonna level it out. That's right, he ain't gonna put too much on one side. You hear me? Because when we get up there, we pretty much is in a jackknife turn where it easily can turn that thing over. But you, if you're anything like Big E, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna drive that thing, you hear me? Hey, look at that, big international, man. We out here doing big things, bro. But uh, anyway, uh, for you new loggers out there, man, you wanna be real careful, man, when they when they load you with load of double bunk. Because lo double bunk loads are pretty easy to turn over if you go on some curvy roads, because your trailer wheel, it, well, it, it depends on what kind of trailer you got to. A lot of things can go into effect. You know what I'm saying? But you want to be real careful with those loads right there, load of double bump, puck wood, you hear me? We going down to Columbia Chip in my morning, y'all. Anybody can get some, you hear me? We gonna run 84 down, 84 down 35, all the way down to Columbia, baby. You welcome to join me. Hot Rod, you, if you out there, you can join me. Uh, Duty, if you out there, you, you can join me, you hear me? I feel that good this week to work. I'm ready to blow any and everything off, you hear me? Look at that thing, man. Big international, man. Y'all know what we out here doing, man. We logging, man.